This week, Hideout. On one of our recent programs, we told you the story of the liberation of the American civilian internees in the Philippines. Now we're going to tell you the story of a courageous woman correspondent who refused to give in to the Japs. Instead, she fled Manila in the wake of the advancing enemy and lived in the hills of Luzon with loyal Filipino guerrillas. Her name, Doris Johnston. There is not much time, Miss Johnston. You are sure you want to go with us? I'm ready, Manuel. You're crazy, Doris. Stay with us in Manila. No, Bill, I know what I'm doing. But you're a woman, Doris. Hiding out in the mountains is all right for a man. We must hurry, Miss Johnston. Japs, get closer. Yes, Manuel. Listen, Bill. I saw what the Japs did to Hancock in 1938, and I know what they're going to do to Manila. I'll take the hill. Now, look, Doris. Please hurry. So long, Bill, and good luck. Come on, Manuel. We go, Doris. Doris, come back. Come back. Her papers give name as Doris Johnson, a news reporter. Hmm. Doris Johnson, reporter. Well, go on. She escaped in hills January 2nd, 1942, with a Filipino named Manuel Lopez. We must find her, do you hear? Scour the hills of Luzon. This woman is dangerous to Japan. We will find her. Don't worry. Already our scouts are combing the hills of Luzon. How much farther, Manuel? <laughs> no time, Miss Johnston. Job's coming. Oh. We must hurry. I'm hurrying, Manuel. <laughs> Wait. What was it? Wait. Get behind rock. Job. Where? Listen. Oh. <laughs> Friend, huh? He's alone. Top scout. Down more down in the valley. There he is. Friend! Friend! Friend, huh? Oh, you got him, Manuel. No time. There are more. Hurry, more Japs come soon. Well, Miss Johnstone, we are here. So this is your hideout. Right on top of a peak. It is safer. Come, meet our leader. Uh, Manuel! Felipe! Welcome! An American woman. Yes, she come with me all the way from Manila. Miss Johnston, our leader. Felipe Galon. I'm glad to know you, Felipe. The Filipinos guerrillas welcome you. Jose! Si, Felipe. Some food. Our guests are hungry. Bueno, Felipe. Now, we must talk. Tell me, Manuel, what did you find out? The Japs, are they? They almost caught us. Yes, we got one. But even now, they are combing the hills of Luzon, searching for us. That is no excuse! You read this, Doris Johnson, get away! Our best scouts followed them. Your best scouts? What have you matter? He is dead. Dead? As long as this woman remains at large, our policy in the Philippines is in jeopardy. The woman is a writer. And her words may find their way out to the enemy. The Japanese sent out hundreds of small searching parties, but we managed to elude them for the first few months. And during that time, I watched the Filipino guerrilla movement grow from small bands of students into disciplined, responsible groups, raiding Japanese outposts in the mountains of Luzon, striking like lightning, and then withdrawing to their hideouts. Felipe! Felipe! Chap raiding party in the valley. Which way are they heading? This way, up the mountain. Get the men together. We must give them a welcome. The men are placed, Felipe. Good. The trap is set. But are you sure you... Manuel, wait until they enter our semicircle before you open fire. You will give the order? Yes. Now go back to your men. See, si, I go. You, Miss Johnson, stay with me. <laughs> They're coming. It is perfect. Twenty of them, at least. Quiet. Felipe. Wait. Fire! 
raiding our occupied town, murdering our garrison. I have a suggestion. What is it? We must change our method from violence to friendship. Violence is the code of the samurai. Yes, but we can be violent through friendship. How? We have burned their towns to the ground, tortured the inhabitants. But suppose we were to... <laughs> I think I understand. Suppose we were to organize, shall we say, neighborhood associations, make friends with the Filipinos, and use them to spy on the guerrillas. Hmm. It might work. And yet... There is no harm in trying, is there? No. There is no harm in trying. So the Japanese organized their neighborhood associations, not only to capture guerrilla leaders, but to lure me from the hills of Luzon, away from my guerrilla friends. It worked to a point. By bribes, they persuaded some Filipino families to spy on one another. But the way this spying was carried out, well... <laughs> Sabe, you understand? <laughs> you spy on me, and I spy on you, eh, Felipe? <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. The Japs go to my family in the village of San Quilla. <laughs> First, they tell my little son to spy on my older son. Then they tell my older son to spy on my daughter, and my daughter to spy on my wife. <laughs> and who does your wife spy on? She spy on me. <laughs> what do they tell the Japs? They must tell them something. Oh, they do, they do. They tell Japs, we are at such and such a place. And when the Japs go there, they say we have just left and are at another such and such a place. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand. <laughs> yes, Miss Johnston, the Jap tongue is hanging out much long. I spy on you. <laughs> <laughs> they are making fools of us. We have tried everything. No, there is one thing we have not tried. This Gerida Dida, his name... Uh, Felipe Garon. Huh. He has a family. Two boys, one girl, wife, huh? Yes. She's all but the young son. And what of the young son? Tell him we will murder his family unless this newspaper woman is surrendered to us at once. Excellent. brave woman, Miss Johnson. Someday you will write about the Filipino guerrillas, no? I can promise you that, Felipe. I wonder what your people think. Perhaps they think you are dead, no? You know, it has been two years since you left Manila with me. Yes, two years and two months, Manuel. It's hard to believe that this is March 1943. You are one of us, Miss Johnson, and we shall never forget. Felipe, listen. Someone's coming. It's Diego, my young son. <gasps> He's come 19 miles from your village, Felipe. Diego, something wrong. Chaps, they take Mama, Lucrecia, Quito. Your family, Felipe. What else, Diego? What else? Chap commander, they say all die on this American woman. Surrender. Canalla. No, no. Chaps, say must have answer tonight. We answer with this. No, Felipe. This time, the gun does not help. I'm going to give myself up. No, Miss Johnson. Yes, Felipe. Hiding and sharing your privations and risks is one thing. But your family... No, I can't do that. You are a brave woman, Miss Johnston. I'm proud to have been one of you. Miss Johnson. Don't say it, Felipe. I understand. Diego? Yes, miss. We haven't much time. We must start back at once. Must hurry. Jack Commander's here tonight. We must come or he kill all of us. I had no choice. The chase was over. I entered a certain town on the morning of March 13th, 1943, and went to a prearranged house. There I sat alone and waited. Yes? You, Doris Johnson, war correspondent? I am. You are under arrest. <laughs> you know, I spent two months in Japanese jails in central Luzon before being interned at Los Senos as an enemy alien. 
There I remained until my rescue by American paratroopers. I left Los Benos in a tank. Once I looked back and saw columns of smoke rising from the distance. Our prison was a blazing inferno. But through the smoke and flames, I could see the smiling faces of Manuel and Felipe. And I could guess what they were thinking up in the hills of Luzon. We are free now, Miss Johnstone. Till we meet again in Manila. Long live freedom. <laughs> Doris Johnston's dramatic soul-stirring United Press story, Hideout, a saga of the gallant Filipino guerrillas. United Press correspondents are in the thick of battle on every fighting front around the globe and in the capitals of the free world, bringing you the latest developments of the war, sending you colorful accounts such as this of the action that will ultimately spell victory. We will bring you another thrilling story of these soldiers of the press soon. Be sure to listen. And listen for United Press News on the air. Look for United Press Dispatches in your favorite newspaper. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.